Hey boo, hey, welcome to another message with me, the Divination Duchess. All right, boo, let's see what message you need to hear today was coming from spirit to you. We got absence. Okay, so it looks like it has to do with an absence of either a person or um, an item or something in your life. Let's talk about it. An absence of what? What's this absence about spirit? Oh, this flipped right over. We got of an alliance. Okay, so maybe you've been feeling very lonely or feeling like you haven't really had the right person or people in your corner. You haven't had the right alliances. You've been feeling here like, you know, maybe you've tried to connect with certain people, whether this be romantic or platonically, and it just seems like it's been nothing but dud after dud, stress after stress, maybe feeling like rejection after rejection, abandonment after abandonment. Believe me, I know, I know, right? So right now, your heart's really feeling like there's this absence here, this longing, this missing, this yearning here for this alliance, for this person that truly understands you or these people, right? For um, that sense of companionship, that sense of comfort, that sense of feeling like someone's on your team. And I feel like this is something that we all deserve is to have someone on our team. And the problem is a lot of times we choose the wrong people, right? And so we end up with people, like I said, that leave us abandoned, rejected, maybe drained right misunderstood all of that or we just sit in solitude and reject these good these good offerings but spirit is saying that the absence of these alliances is changing okay there's something that's really opening up in your heart here that's manifesting and bringing in the right persons for you and it's going to be up to you to really be open to receiving this right if you reject this or if you block it off then spirit is saying that you haven't truly learned your lesson but spirit said you have learned okay you know what you want you know what you deserve and so therefore this absence is about to be filled you are going to be um in alignment with a person or, or at least one but maybe multiple people here yes and so with this it's like there's this kind of emotional or um yeah i'm getting like an emotional revolution yes a revolution of connection a revolution of intimacy a revolution of understanding a revolution of communication a revolution of everything that comes with having a true alliance here with someone so where you felt like there's been this absence just know that this absence is clearing so maybe even say if this is about your career, maybe not your love life here, maybe you've had an absence of the right customers or clientele, right? Well, that's all about to change, okay? You're about to make the right alliances or the right partnerships here that bring more blessings into your life. Tell us more here about them making these alliances. We got here a four of wands. I love this energy. So this is going to be a very celebratory time here in your life. You see, I said so much to celebrate. They over here dancing, getting it. And then the house in the background represents a lot of stability, right? So I feel like you are about to be very blessed here. You're going to be feeling like it's, it's a time where you're on top of the world or you're feeling like you're having a good time. You're enjoying life. You're enjoying your connections. You're enjoying your relationships. You're not feeling alone. You're not feeling abandoned. You're not feeling misunderstood. You're feeling out one okay you're feeling part of something an alliance is a team it's a group we come together you're feeling part of something the absence of that is being removed here in your life look at this and this is something that's happening very quickly with this knight of wands i love this so if you've been feeling lonely honey okay if you think you're lonely now wait until tonight because the loneliness is gonna end honey okay but it might not be tonight but it's gonna be quick it's coming sometime quick with this knight of wands so the knight of wands is one of our fastest movers in the deck they're very very passionate fiery right they're very focused on their desires and so with this here there's a lot of passion rushing in there's a lot of connection running rushing in there's a lot of understanding there's a lot of togetherness rushing in and i feel like this is something that you're really going to enjoy right because of the absence of it in your life but it's also something here that you really just got to be um thankful for too so don't forget your gratitude when this is all happening honey Yep, gratitude because this is something that you've been stressed about and worried about. We got this nine of swords, so it's like Spirit saying, don't forget this blessing when it come in, that it's a blessing. Don't take it for granted now because you've been in a nine of swords. You've had these sleepless nights. You've been stressed. You've been worried about when the right person or persons are going to be in your life. You've been worried about this lonely road and this lonely long hole. I know I, I've had the same feelings before, honey. All right, so right here it's like, 
all this is going to be unfounded. All this stress ultimately is going to end up being for nothing. But at the same time, we humans, so we allowed to do it, right? But uh, the prize is coming, okay? It's coming in. You're going to be feeling fulfilled. And it's like, you just need to know that this is happening. And so just be thankful for the change from like the night to the day, right? From the pain to the to the happiness. Look at that. The lovers. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? So I love the way this lover's card has two people holding hand in hand here, right? We also got the heart chakra very activated. And so this is really telling me here, you and this person, the lovers is also the twins here, right? So this is telling me here that you are definitely going to be connected with someone that is of the, on the same note as you right of the same breed like of the same skin like of the same soul of the same heart i don't know it's just like everything and it's not like to say that y'all are exactly alike but it's like you complement each other you just make sense and so you're gonna want to embrace and hold on to each other i heard forever for the long haul for a very 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 long time right and so this is because this is a connection that's truly coming from the heart it's not coming from ego a lot of times we get in connections coming from ego and then we wonder why we still feel alone why we still feel miserable while we still feel like things aren't going right it's because it's not right the connections you're in are not good for you they're not healthy so spirit is saying you're not going to be getting you know connections of the ego you're getting a true heartfelt soulful connection here that's not full of all this negative karma and trauma and negativity we sick of it and we tired yeah we ready for recovery i like the way this word recovery is on here that's what we ready for intimate bonds true love and deep connection not the nonsense we ain't doing the nonsense no more because the nonsense it would leaves you feeling like you're in an absence feeling like there's a void in your connections in your love life in your in your connections in your relationships right okay look at this yes there's been a struggle i like the way they keep going back and forth here okay like there was stress but love is coming but look there's been a struggle yes but it's the ending of struggling times it's the ending to that struggle a ten of wands tens represents completions and endings right so for y'all tarot addicts like me you know this for y'all that don't now you know baby all right so this 10 here is really representing this sense of stress and frustration and really having to put a lot of energy into things and feeling like just burnt out by life and burnt out by connections and burnt out by trying and it's like but that time has come to an end baby i love 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 the tens because they represent endings even though a couple of them bring some strife and stress right so this one is like yes you've had to go through this period that's been difficult but now you're realizing here where you also can take charge here and be ready for this new beginning. Because I always say with this specific card, she's stressed about all these wands on the ground. I know it's stressful, honey, but you can just go ahead and pick those up real quick. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like you're seeing the light. And because of this light here, things are coming into fruition and you're finally getting what you want instead of suddenly for... Like I said, I feel like your life has been filled with connections that have left a void, have left you feeling like you're absent of connection because they've been from the ego. They've been from a place of not being true. OK, it's like it's 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 not the right type of fulfillment for your soul. But now you're finding your soul family. So we got the moon here. So Spirit is saying it's a great time of following your intuition, trusting your intuition because it's leading you towards this level of happiness. It's leading you away from the fears, the feelings of rejection, the stress, the overdoing, the overworking, the frustration. It's leading you away from that. But again, like I said in the beginning, when there's a sense of lesson in here, it's like if you don't let go of these fears, if you don't follow your intuition, you could block this blessing. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I only could tell the message that it's coming through. So this blessing is yours, but you have to be open to receiving it and not blocking it too. Yep. It's a new beginning, new start. This is an opportunity, an opportunity for love, an opportunity for connection, an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for a true alliance here. Okay. So you have to be very bold, very courageous. It says, do what you're passionate about. I like that at the bottom. Sorry, my arm is itching. But it's saying here that this is the time. Okay, this is the time. Look at this. Page of Cups. No, Ace of Cups. Okay, even better. I like both the page and the Ace. But again, new starts, new beginnings. So 
if you felt like things haven't been going right, Spirit is saying this is your chance for a new start. Now, what are you going to do with this new start? It's up to you. But I say take the opportunity because this is what an amazing opportunity. Look at this. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, a deep friendship. Okay. It, it's, it's that that sense of newness here when it comes to your emotions. There's going to be some sort of offering or maybe you coming in with some sort of offering, but this is very playful. The dolphins always re represent that playful energy, right? And also represents communication because the dolphins like to get their little chatter on. I don't know how to speak dolphin, but I can hear it in my head right now. And I ain't about to make a fool of myself making no dolphin noises. But at the end of the day, okay, what I got to say here is that there's a great opportunity here for union coming in towards you. But you have to be ready for this and open to it. And then there's going to be this great alliance. But it's like you felt absence. Now it's time for you to feel togetherness. But of course, it's up to you to accept this opportunity because free will is everything. All right. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. Check out my website for all the goodies linked below. A lot, a lot, a lot of goodies. And I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye.